Top three concepts you need to know about bowel health to help you succeed in healing your bowel and body and eliminating your symptoms, illnesses, addictions, and weight problems are number one. The bowel bacterial environment that you have now is what you inherited at birth. Number two, you should have a hundred trillion good bacteria in your bowel. And number three, for 99% of you, 12 bowel strength a day is not going to get too strong or cause you problems for at least 18 months after starting it. So back to number one, you, in, you inherited a weak bowel. When you're born, you inherit bowel bacteria from your mother and you only get what she's got to give to you. If she's got a very healthy bowel, you're, you will get a healthy one and if she doesn't, you won't. This is getting worse and worse as time goes by. As the generations go by, we as women are passing on weaker and weaker bowels to our children. In other words, if you have hundreds and hundreds of dollars in your bank account and you have a baby, when they're born, you're going to give some of this money to them so that they've got some money to start life off with. Hopefully they'll put it in an interest-bearing account and it'll grow and multiply as time goes by. But that baby is starting off with less than what you've got or less than what you had on day one. And if that child of yours now has a baby and has done nothing to heal their bowel or encourage the growth of the good bacterial environment, when that child has a baby, they have even less money to give to their child. So now their child gets even less money or less good bacteria. And then this child has a child and whoops, all of a sudden this child isn't getting much and before you know it, you've got infertility, early disease, death, meaning you really can't live and survive on no money. You can't live and survive without a good, lot of good bacteria, bacteria in your bowel. So to emphasize this, one, it's not your fault if your gut bacterial environment is weak. It's not your mom's fault. Yeah, you got it from her, but we've all done our best. Number two is it doesn't therefore either matter what age you're at or what size you are as far as how much bowel strength or acid alphas you need to heal your bowel. That question comes to me a lot. In fact, I consistently find that when I work with someone who's 5 years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, their bowels are less healthy than their mother's or parents' bowels are. And we actually have to take more bowel strength and acid alphas to heal it than we do for their, their mother or father. Um, maybe most importantly, we need to emphasize or focus on the fact that, yeah, we may have inherited a super weak bowel, but we can fix it. And you are fixing it with this program. Second concept is there are a hundred trillion good bacteria, or there should be a hundred trillion good bacteria in your bowel. That's a lot of zeros. There's 14 of them. That number is beyond inconceivable to us. If you took a hundred trillion hundred dollar bills, it would weigh 2,200 million pounds. I mean, that's how large that number is. So, be careful. Lots of people are out there trying to sell you on products and drinks and stuff that immediately magically eliminate your health problems and fix this gut bacterial environment. If you keep falling for that, it is only those people selling you those products that will profit and gain from that. You won't. With this program that you're doing with me, we are healing this pretty fast. It's amazing how quickly in several years time or less that we can build up that huge number of good bacteria. But it is physically impossible to do that quickly as some of these people unfortunately get away with with claiming in these ads that they can do. And then last but not least, for 99% of you, if you're taking 12 bowel strength a day, the maximum amount in my book, and more if you're working with me individually, but if you're taking that amount in the book, for 99% of you, maybe more, you will be able to take that for 18 months before it gets too strong. Doesn't mean you have to take it for 18 months. You could get half of the bacteria strengthened in your bowel and be gobs healthier than you were on day one. But the point more so is that for 99% of you, for at least the 14, first 18 months of this program, if you're not feeling good, if you have diarrhea, if your weight goes up, if your, your symptoms get aggravated or whatever, don't blame the bowel strength. It's extremely unlikely that's what's causing it. Um, in 99% of the cases, the cause of that discomfort is the fact that your bowel's unhealthy. 
Just because we're taking bowel strain to fix the bowel doesn't mean it's fixed. We're fixing it. So just because we have men on the roof fixing the holes doesn't mean that they're fixed. In other words, if it rains while we're fixing that roof, the house will get wet. So for you, what that means is that your gut's unhealthy. If you have a lot of stress in your life, more than normal, you're eating out more, you're drinking more, eating more sugar, eating, um, you know, whatever, anything highly acidic like that, um, you are going to have your symptoms get aggravated. But it's not because of this. In fact, it's the fact that that happens is testimony that you need to take the bowel strength and heal your bowel. Also, in the vast majority of cases, while someone goes through this program, if they're not feeling good or the weight goes up or whatever, it's not because of the bowel strength, it's because you have ignored something that I repeated and emphasized very strongly over and over again in my book, which is that you cannot start cutting down the animal protein, the chicken, the fish, the turkey, the beef that you eat in the beginning of this program. Really, you shouldn't be doing that for the first 12 months. When you do that, it's very cleansing, which in my office means the acids and the organs go dumping into that weak bowel of yours. You can't eliminate them and your waving symptoms go up. So review chapter eight of my book, This Works Crutches Don't. It will tell you again how to assess your symptoms, what to blame them on. Um, yes, one day the bowel strength will be too strong for you. That's so cool. It's amazing that we can permanently heal this, but it will take a while before that happens. So remember the three top concepts about bowel health and you are more likely to succeed in getting to your ideal health and weight potential.